In this video, I'm going to share exactly how you can create faceless YouTube videos for free using AI. And no, we are not going to be using ChatGPT. And no, I'm not going to sneakily inject my InVideo or Pictory affiliate link. We don't need to spend any money to do all of this. And if you stick around to the end, I'm going to share a free set of keywords that you can get to practice this for yourself. So this is a very successful faceless YouTube channel that we are going to use as inspiration. It's called Natural Cures and they make really good faceless videos every single day. And if we scroll down, we can find this video is taking apple cider vinegar for bloating a bad idea. So we can open up a Google Drive doc and we can put this as the topic for our video. We then need to get our script created. Now, a lot of people are going to tell you go to ChatGPT, but ChatGPT is sometimes a little bit buggy and it could become paid very soon. So I recommend that you go and sign up for a free vidIQ account. I'll leave a link in the description. When you do and you open it up, you can come to the AI coach. We'll click on the AI coach and vidIQ is great because it's designed for videos. So this first prompt here, write a script for a YouTube video about, and then we can come back here and we can say apple cider vinegar for bloating. So we can put that in here. However, to make this easier, I'm going to say write a 45 second script for a YouTube video about apple cider vinegar for bloating just to save time. We'll hit send and then we'll just wait and see what vidIQ spits out. And if it doesn't do the job completely, we can just prompt it to continue. So again, we've just got to wait for a few seconds and there we go. Welcome to the channel everyone. Today we're talking about, so let's just copy this. So we're going to copy this first of all and we're going to come here and we're going to put our script in here. Now we have to spend a couple of minutes just proofreading this, fact checking it and also editing it or removing any things that we want to do. So I'll pause the video and go and do that. I've removed the ending and we have a very short script that in reality would make up part or the beginning of a YouTube video. If we want to go back here, we can just put the word continue and hit send and it will continue to pump out a lot more. And we can make this as long or as detailed as possible. And if we want to make it a full YouTube video, we just change the prompt to two minute, three minute, four minutes, and we just continue as such. So now we have the script, we need to get a voice. And this is where I think a lot of videos struggle because a lot of people will advocate going from going to get a text to speech software and these videos just sound really really bad. This is where I think you have to get a little bit outside your comfort zone and use your own voice. I recommend you download Audacity, it's completely free and you can download it whether you want a PC or a Mac, just download the version that is good for you. Once it's downloaded you can open it up and it will appear as such. Let's just bring this into the screen, we'll close that off and it will look like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to minimise that, I'm going to go back here, then I'm going to bring that back up. So in essence all you'll need to do is hit record, read your script and hit stop and if you make a mistake you can just delete it and start again. So I'm going to pause the video and record myself reading this script. Okay, so I've recorded the audio and from here, if you're happy, you just click on file, export and you can export it as an MP3 or a WAV file. Now there are lots of videos on YouTube if you want to get really granular with the quality of the audio and the editing, but for now this is going to suffice, so I'm going to close this off, I do not need to save it. Now we've got our audio, we need to go ahead and create our video. And this is usually where people throw in their affiliate link and tutorial for InVideo, Pictory or something similar, but it's not necessary. Why pay when you can do it for free? So let's go to CapCut. CapCut is something that works on a Mac or a PC. You can download it from the App Store as well or you can download it here. They've got a mobile app as well and if you don't want to download anything, you can use it online. So I'm going to open up my version of CapCut. As you can see, I've got CapCut here. And all I need to do is make sure that I've got media selected and the first thing I'm going to do is drag and drop my audio in here and then drag it to the timeline. And if I press play, you'll hear my voice. It might sound a little bit weird because you're listening to it through this camera recording. Welcome to the channel, everyone. Today we're talking... Okay, now the great thing about CapCut, let's put that back to the start, is we can then click on text. We can then click on auto captions. We'll leave it at English and we'll hit create. Now what CapCut is doing for free is it's actually creating the captions for us. And you can see they've populated up here. So we could kind of make them a little bit bigger. We could choose a different font. So I could click on that. We can, you know, do a lot of things with this. We could 
click on that, we could change the coloring. So I could maybe make it bigger, make it smaller. It's entirely up to you. Change the color, I could make it into a red. I could use this kind of design or this kind of design. There's a lot of stuff we can do and this is going to apply to all. So this is gonna be congruent on every single slide. So now we've got our text, obviously we're gonna to have to come in and make it appear nicely on screen, but we need to actually get some images. So how do we get images or stock video footage for free? Well, there are various places. We can start off with Canva. And as you know, Canva has both a free and a paid version. But what we can do is we can click on Create Design. And then YouTube video we can see is 920 by 1080. So we can click on Custom Size, 920 and 1080. Obviously, we could also click on that YouTube option, but we'll click on Create Design. And that's going to open up a perfectly sized um, area. Then we can come to elements. So I could start putting in the word bloated and see if that brings up anything. And we can click on graphics, photos or videos. So let's see videos and see if we've got anything here. This is a 12 second clip of a guy feeling bloated. This is part of the pro section. So we'd have to pay for that. I've got a pro account, but let's go to photos as well. And we see that unfortunately, a lot of these are part of the pro plan. So there's nothing to stop you clicking on one of these dragging it into the corner, just fill in the whole screen, and then we can click on this, give it a name, bloated, share, download, and then download this to our computer. Once this is downloaded, as we can see it's downloaded here, I'm gonna drag it off screen, I'm then gonna open up CapCut, and I'm gonna to come to Media, and I'm gonna just drag this in here. And now, if I put this down on the screen and go to the start, we've got this and I'm gonna just come to the text, and I'm gonna come up here, in here, and click next to C for channel, and hit enter, and that brings that there. So we actually edit the text in here, not by clicking on the screen. So we can use Canva. I'm gonna go back to Canva, and just show you how to do it for a video. So we'll click on this, and get rid of it by the trash can. And we've got this video here. This is 12 seconds, so again, I'll just kind of drag it and I'll bring it across there, perfectly sized as you can see, or maybe almost. And then we're gonna just bloated V for bloated video, share, download, and then uh, we want the MP4, download. So now that's gonna download the video. It will take a little bit longer to download a video. So other places that we can get content, we can use Pixabay, it's completely free. You can create an account if you want, but you don't have to. I just typed in apple cider vinegar and we can switch between images and we've got videos down here. And as you see, we've got some images that we could potentially go through and download if we want. We can come over to pexels.com and do a similar kind of search. They've got photos and they've got videos. Now, some of their videos are gonna be vertical. Some are gonna be regular landscape videos. And it's got a few weird ones not related to apple cider vinegar. So I'm not sure why they've appeared there. We've got unsplash.com, which has a ton of photos and images that we can use. If you're making a regular YouTube video, get the rectangular ones. If you're making a YouTube short, you might wanna get the vertical or longer, longer style um, images. And again, there are other resources out there that there's just three that I've shared with you, plus Canva. So you've got four resources, not three. So once you're happy, you just come back over to CapCut and you just continually add in your content. Just edit it until you are happy. Now, what you can also do is click on original. And if you wanna turn this into a YouTube short, for example, or a TikTok video, you can just click on this one here and it makes it like this. Now, of course, the downside of doing it like this is this image isn't really designed for this particular style of video. So you can either, you know, kind of drag it up like this until it fills the whole screen, or you can go and you can find images and video clips that are vertical in nature, but do exactly the same process. You can add animation, stickers, transitions. I'm not gonna get into that in this particular video, but it's to show you how you can have an idea. You can use AI to write the script, and you can use this particular kind of software, which is free, to create your videos. When you're happy, I'm gonna put that back to the um, original. Uh, you just click on export. I'll obviously have to resize that image. That's pretty gross. Export the video and then I can upload it to YouTube as I would normally do. Add my custom thumbnail, optimize my video 
and I could create a video without ever appearing on camera, so my face is never shown, and I've not had to spend any money on any third-party tool. So that is how you can do it. Now, I promised you at the start of this video, I would share with you a resource that you can get a bunch of stuff so you can start practicing this for free. But at the start of this video, I mentioned I would give you a free set of keywords so that you could get started creating these faceless videos for yourself. Well, I'm gonna give you more than that. If you go to videocontentplr.com and click on this green button, I will send to your email inbox ready to use articles, videos, email series, checklists, audios, video scripts, keyword research for both Google and YouTube, uh, PDFs, square videos for social media, a customer avatar, and also a secret training. You can take this PLR package and it's all around the juicing niche and you could go and create a juicing blog, a juicing YouTube channel, an email list you could build, you could do a ton of different things and you can use the concepts that you've learned in this video to grow a channel, never show your face and potentially make some money once your channel gets to a certain point. It's completely free and just go ahead and opt in and it'll be sent to your email inbox and you can use it how you want and you get private label rights as well. So I can't say fairer than that. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If so, please give me a like. It would be much appreciated and I will see you in another video soon. Take care.